All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 736. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's also raising his prices in select territories for sex work. Wombat. This is true. These are facts. And it's because of inflation. Yeah. His, his penis. That's, I was going to say that before you. Yeah. It's inflated. I mean, I don't know if I would call it in. Infl- I mean, it's as advertised. I don't want to, right? You know, I don't want to get in trouble with Let's the go. FCC. Stop! Over- Let's stop right now. Stop! Shipwreck, <laughs> jump in. Say something about sports. Uh, I love sports. They're new- they're they're a <laughs> and you don't care who knows favorite pastime of many. I feel like your 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 podcasting area now is looking like you could be doing a sports podcast from that down there pretty simple oh, you can just change a few things up you put like I some could, like baseball standy in the back corner yeah yeah i could do that i'm enjoying put the new angle up there that i haven't read <laughs> i'm enjoying the new angle everything okay cat attacking no no everything's fine i'm just i'm yes i i got rid of the stool that i usually do the show on okay it's just taking up space and so i'm trying this in the in my my apology chair <laughs> in, in your, your gamer chair my gamer apology chair so we'll see how it goes i've got a new like little stand here that my other computer sits on you have two computers going now uh yeah what are you doing on the second computer nothing D- djing yeah DJing NFTs? There. Is oh, that, i do have that, music going i forgot to start off my mu- music is that where the here. blockchain is is it on the other computer yeah yeah i'm i'm uh i'm mining over there <laughs> on that computer is that your crypto mine central? Yeah, you have to click it every once in a while. I don't know if you know that about crypto mining. I don't. It's you have to you have to click every. It's like one of those clicker games. Right. Mm. That's I how you do it. Yeah. Right. Are you sure you just don't have it set to automatically play cookie clicker? No, oh, no, he's Crap. Bitcoin mining. <laughs> yeah, it's not a game. It- it's serious business. Anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. We're back home in our respective home places. Not. Not in, uh, not in LI Retro with the, <laughs> with the very weird audio quality. But that was a fun experience. It was a fun, it was, I mean, yeah. The first time in, th- it was three years. Is that I right? Know, I, three I, years? I can't believe it had been that long. Everyone's children got gigantic, but it was very nice to see everybody. It was 2019 was the last one. When is it? What, that's years crazy. In yeah, no, that's, it was three years. Yeah, wow. Was, that's a long time. Mm-hmm. It was extra. I mean, they packed so many games in there now that the games are actually in all the. <laughs> it's a very nice museum about you know pioneering air travel and aviation and just you know all kinds of stuff. But now all the video games are like inside the exhibits because they just have so many. They have so many gaming stations now. Yeah, but that's a good thing. It is a good thing, but it's also like it was weird before. And now it's like, wow, they just are just taking up every inch of the museum. Like, I, I wasn't, I was surprised when I went to the bathroom that wasn't like an Atari in the stall. That would have been awesome. <laughs> it was just like they were, but that's, yeah, like you say, it wasn't a bad thing. Unless you're, you know, protective of <laughs> museums. But, uh, and it was fun. We had a good turnout, I felt, at the, uh, mm-hmm. at yeah, the I panel. counted the amount of people that you, were. No, you did not. Uh, of course I did. Why? Because I'm. When? Psychotic. Why and when? Before, like, just before we started. That's what you were doing before the show started? Was counting the people in the audience? Uh Uh-huh. You weren't, like, thinking about what you might want to say or anything? No, and I think my work speaks for itself. Oh, God, that's so weird. I, why, why is me being weird, weird? It's not. Is it to get to where you can't count the number of people? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I stopped counting after seven, but, uh. No, well, what was I, the number? I, you, you went uh, through the effort. I wanna <laughs> excuse me. I, I wanna say it was around thirty-seven. And then my so, and then my wife came, so then it was thirty-eight. Yes, yeah, so my daughter that. showed up at one point. I think also. we reached forty. We could say that we had over forty. Yes, for definitely. Sure. Mm-hmm. It was a nice turnout. I'm not upset with it at at all. And it was nice to see people that I hadn't seen in a while, including the two of you. Yes. And 
Were you yeah. counting us? Did you count us? No, I didn't count you guys. So oh, we're <laughs> so over forty. Over know, forty then. Over forty. So what? What uh, do you want that number to be next year? Uh, like, seventy-two. There, 72. There's a goal. Okay. So we have to basically double the number of people. And my number could be completely wrong. It's been a, over a week, and I've had <laughs> quite a last two weeks. So. So weird. You're so weird. I am weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> It was fun though. We had a good mm-hmm. time. Shipwreck stayed here. I got to. It was nice because I got to clean out the whole house for for the shipwrecks to come. And now Osaka Grandma's here. By the way, you might just watch her walk through the door here and like go to her room, which is over there. Um. So I got a lot of the cleaning out of the way with the shipwrecks. First time you cleaned your house in three years. I mean, no, but like. Usually when we have guests come, we'll I'll always make sure to throw out a lot of stuff that I'm not using. Not garbage, but just like okay. having d- or clothes, everything. Just like it's a good excuse to get rid of stuff. In case I started going through your closet or something. No, no, it's just an excuse. It's just an excuse to, yeah, to yeah. get rid of stuff. Literally just that. Um, and also maybe like when Osaka grandma comes, I'm maybe worried about her going through the closet. So it's good to just get that out of the way. And certainly like Mrs. Chibi gets involved. Like she doesn't care when you guys come. She doesn't care about the cleaning. She just leaves that to me. But when her mom comes, she leaves the cleaning to me. Don't get me wrong, but she will go through it and make sure that I've done a good job. And if not, she will put in the, t- the effort, you know, to make sure that it's up to her standard. But uh, yeah, it was great to see you guys. Did you have fun at the, um, what, what would you say was the highlight of your, your short visit to Long Island, besides the LI Retro, outside of Retro, outside of the cradle of aviation, Mm. home of LI Retro. I know what you're trying to get me to say. Oh, I don't actually. I have no idea. I'm not trying to get you to say anything. So I don't know (laughs) what you, I'm now, I'm wondering what you think I'm trying to get you to say. Um, no, we had a, we had a great time. It's always fun to, to visit. We, uh, we all get to go to dinner together. That was a fun time. The, the, I, I thought I thought the dinner was a lot of fun. Benihana is the tradition. Yes, our traditional Benihana family dinner. It was a lot of fun. It's always good when you can go to Benihana and command the whole table because otherwise you're sitting with some strange family mm-hmm. and you don't know what could happen. What could happen? Like they could order two entrees. Our three boys all sat next to each other. At the table, they all like kibitz together. That was kind of mm, fun. I don't know watch. that my my kids kibitz. Yes, they do. Sure, they do. Mm, we're not, we're do not generally kibitzing or, around. <laughs> you don't even know what it means. <laughs> it means talking bad about Jesus. It just means, it means they were talking to each other. It means disrespecting Jesus <laughs> oh, oh, as much it as possible. It just means they were chatting. <laughs> yes. Um, no, it was, it was fun. We, we went to the, the ping pong club. I thought that's where you were trying to lead. Oh, me I wasn't, I literally was not, I was cu- really curious about what the highlight was. I there. wasn't invited to the ping pong club, so I wouldn't know. I mean, yeah, I, last time I brought you to the ping pong, <laughs> last time I brought you, I invited you to the ping pong club. You didn't really show any enthusiasm at all. And I was just like, all right. Remember when we went to the ping pong club? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I was like, huh, what am I going to do? I didn't, I didn't think that you'd want to come to that. I mean, I mean, it I wasn't thought, an, like an event or anything. Yeah, like it, we it, walked it, down it. the street and went to the big punk club. That's okay. I understand. Yeah. No, that's fine. I, I was not offended. <laughs> oh, so why'd you bring I, it up? I should mention that when we showed up to your house though, yes. you were working your ping pong job. Like, yes, we, we showed up and GP <laughs> was, was not at home. <laughs> I was on Friday is the time that I'm busy there. Cause we have the group training and the league. And I am in charge of the monies and the everything. So I have to make sure that it gets done. But I came home soon. I knew that you were there and I came home shortly after, right? Like five minutes was I, was I home? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. It, it wasn't awkward. Um, <laughs> it wasn't awkward. I mean, uh, uh, Dash really enjoyed it. Dash kept wanting, saying he wanted to go back. I didn't like even want to, I wasn't trying to get people to go to the club. Dash said he wanted to go to the club. Is that true or false? That's true. He was chanting ping pong over and over again at some point. No, paddle ball. I, I think he, he had saying. it right when he was chanting. I don't think he Oh. I don't think he was chanting paddle ball, but Oh. Yeah, but 
No, it was it was fun. We got to watch uh GP play some ping pong. We played some ping pong. We uh I, I know everything about the club and GP's uh <laughs> hostile takeover of the ping pong club. It's not a ho- is it a hostile takeover? It's the opposite of a hostile takeover. It's a friendly, friendly volunteering. Takeover. A friendly volunteering. <laughs> I have a funny story though about about that a, a little update that I'm sure people will, en- will enjoy because it involves me suffering. So <laughs> I met one of my neighbors for the first time and it turns out that the guy is really into ping pong. It just doesn't happen. He saw my table in my backyard or his wife did. And anyway, I told him about the club and that we could go play anytime and we make it, we make a date to go to the, to the ping pong club. Okay. About five minutes before I'm walking out the door to meet the guy, my cell phone rings. And someone said, and I say, I said, hello, like anybody would say. I said, yes, I'm, and it's a woman and she seems hostile. And she says, yes, I'm, I'm calling about the Google review. Now, this is just my phone number on my cell phone. And I don't know who this woman is, but I quickly realize like the only thing that I'm involved in is this ping pong club and something is going on with a Google review. So I say, I'm sorry, I, I have no idea like what you're talking about. If you could just tell me what's going on, then, you know, that'd be great. So the woman starts going on, starts telling me how she showed up at the club and she drove a long way and the club is closed and she's done this a couple of times now and that the hours on Google Maps are wrong and that she's wasting her time and she, she's very upset. And, 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 and she left, and she, I'm learning now that she's left a one-star review on the Google Maps page. And, the, and now I'm like, I'm putting this together that the owner must have saw, seen the review on Google Maps because it, it emails you when someone leaves a review and repl- you can reply to it. And he replied publicly with my phone number on, you know, my cell phone number. Now, he asked me ahead of time if he could use my phone number for like some stuff. And I said, okay, but like I was making arrangements to get like this burner phone. I was going to say, is this, is this okay. the burner phone or no? This is, this is- no, this is my phone. This is my, so I hadn't, I hadn't really, you know, made the arrangements with him for the burner phone and stuff. So anyway, I'm putting this all together while uh, in real time, while the woman's, you know, yelling at me. So I say, I say, well, I understand, you know, that you'd be upset coming there, but actually I, I did like see, see this type of thing happening. And I made a sign right on the door that says, you know, we're, we're, I'm, we're sorry about the inconvenience, but August we have irregular hours. Please text me or call me David. And here's my phone number. And the phone number is the burner phone number, which is working out very well, by the way. So I tell the woman, you know, I understand where you're coming from. And that's why I put the sign on the door that has what I just told you. And as I'm telling her, she says, there's no, there's no sign. And I said, no, no, I know there's a sign because I, I made the sign and I put the sign right on the door. There's no sign. She just keeps saying there's no sign over and over again. I'm in my kitchen. Like I have to go meet this guy to play ping pong in two minutes. And like this woman's like going crazy. And I don't know what to do. So I say, I'm sorry, ma'am. What would you like me to do? And she's like, uh, just, you know, update the Google Maps hours and something. And I say, okay, thank you. And I hang up. And I'm like, you know, I just didn't expect like that this type of thing to happen. So I'm a little upset. Anyway, I go to the club, play, meet the guy. My neighbor's great. I tell him the story. It's all good. But meanwhile, as I'm walking in the club, I'm like, obviously the first thing I'm going to do when I get there is take a picture of the front door and text it to this woman. I mean, not to be a dick, but just to say like, there is a sign and you know, so I do that and then I'm nice about it. I say, I understand that, you know, there's a lot of signs and maybe you would not see this sign, but here's the sign. And I'm sorry that you wasted your time. You know, if you ever want to come back and you know, and play, and play, you know, please just send me a message and I'm, I'll take care of you. And in fact, say, in fact, we have a league every Friday 
why don't you come down and you can check it out. You don't even need to, you can play if you want or just check it out, whatever. And I sort of forgot about it. And sure enough, she comes back. She meets me on Friday. I hit with her for a little while. Changes her review to a four-star review and pays for the league. What do you think about that? What'd she look like? What does that matter? <laughs> what? You, what? You looking I'm for a date? Picture, I'm trying to get a mental picture. Is this like a she was a middle woman? aged? At, she was. She was actually. Was, like, was it a full on Karen looking? Because I'm picturing like sh about my height, very skinny, short blonde haircut. I don't know angry, that we angry lady. The, she was not angry at all, though. Like when she showed up, she was essential internet angry lady. Is that what? Do I have the right no, mental picture? No. I mean, if you're thinking, like, are you thinking what? Like, I think you're thinking of a white lady, right? It doesn't matter. You know what? The race doesn't matter. None of that matters. The point is that I turned a, a one. Sign. You should put that on a sign outside. Race doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? There's too many signs. Obviously, there's too many signs are causing a problem. <laughs> But the point is, I signs, took a one-star one star review, turned it to a four-star, and a paying customer who may you actually ask, come back for future. you ask what it would take to get to a five-star? I don't know. My job is done here. And Did you show her how clean the bathrooms were? No. And I immediately took control of, I got control of the Google Maps and changed the hours and put my burner number in there because like the voicemail is full and like nobody can get a hold of anybody. So now I got the burner phone. Po nobody calls really anyway, so it doesn't matter. You know, one, I get a one or one phone call every two days maybe. Um, so the point is I'm doing a great job. That's the point. Congratulations. Thank you. I hope, right. I hope you get a promotion. <laughs> Uh, and the woman was very good. I was very impressed. She never had any lesson, and she was she was a very good like basement like how, player. How does that work? Like, well, I'm at his yawning, just, just like in my face. If she awesome. was just showing up, like this is odd to me. Like, I, yes. I need to understand how it works. Yes. If you're just showing up solo to a ping pong club, what are your expectations? I was wondering the same exact thing. <laughs> okay, who just shows up alone? I don't know that for sure that she showed up alone. Okay. That 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 you, that's something that you guys said. I don't know. I didn't get the, the details really. Um, so I don't know. Do Maybe call, she just it, wanted to it, check it is out. It ping pong Peggy no, or ping he, pong Pam. Do you know what, what it is? Her? Here's the situation. The situation is there's just none of these places, right? This place like it does not exist anywhere else but here on Long Island. Like ping pong clubs are generally like available in like a church, maybe Mondays and Wednesdays after six p.m. And if you're lucky, they'll have, they have air conditioning at all. And so we're just very lucky to have a place like that. So like a woman like that, who maybe was into ping pong when she was younger, sees this, gets excited and, you know, wants to check it out. Like if you saw like a, a listing for like an arcade somewhere, you might be very excited and just drive out there instead of like call, if you called and couldn't get a hold of anybody. It could happen. Thank you. Employee of the month. The only employee of the month. The only employee. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting paid in ice cream and Gatorade. That's the important thing. How about some show feedback? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Rob R. has to say, the audio was sus. Video was potato, and that's fine. I don't know what that means. Was a really good episode, means? though. You never heard Love that before? No. Video was potato? No. Like it was filmed on a potato? Like it looks bad? Oh, Okay. Love the table top tennis talk uh, over under on the amount of days Wombat would have volunteered to that comic book store to keep it open before he was too busy to do it any longer. I'm saying three, which is fine. What are you saying? So, I don't know. Again, I also have a full time job. I've been on vacation all week and I've still worked every day this week. So exactly. No, that's the right reaction, Chip. I feel like that you need to not do that. I know. And I've to been told that by numerous people. Work, work on vacation. Um, I've worked every day I've been on vacation. Like responding to emails, dealing with clients and all that kind of nonsense that every time I do it, I get an email back from someone like my HR. That's rep, how it our, works. That's how email works. Oh, no, I've gotten, like, I've gotten once you respond to an email. Yeah. Usually that person writes you another email. I tell me about it. I've gotten angry emails from HR already. 
Dude, he's what counting the audience Ford members. Who goes to Cheapy's burner for, phone when you <laughs> yeah. are on vacation? I know. I have my out of office message on. It doesn't seem to go matter. to Egypt, and Cheapy will take care of all this for you. So, uh, you know what though? I mean, I could probably get a lot done though from my phone at the you know this hypothetical comic book store. It really depends on how much of my time they really would need. It's gone you know, now, assume, now, right? Huh? It's gone. It's out of business now, right? Yeah, the That's one why it's that hypothetical I hypothetical now hypothetical right. comic book store. You know, I, I mean, I guess it could have, you know, maybe like Wednesdays is probably the day they would need me the most. Right. I probably could be like, oh, I need to, you know, be in, I'll be in and out on Wednesday afternoons or something like that. I don't know. I, again, it's a hypothetical situation. I like to think I would be as helpful as I can be. But yes, there is also a very distinct possibility that my paying job that helps me, I don't know, keep lights on and feed my feed my family may need me more than the free volunteer work I'm doing at the for-profit comic book store. I, I'm only human. I do want to give a shout out to this website that basically saved that episode of the CADcast. Otherwise, it would have been completely unlistenable. And that is, I don't even know how you say it, lalal, L-A-L-A-L dot A-I. Lalal dot A-I. And oh, wow. you have to... It's just amazing. Like it, it'll take, it can take any song and break it down by instrument and voice. And if you just feed it voice, it'll cut it into two files, one of the voice and what it thinks is noise. Unfortunately, like the audio was so bad that you have to have a digital, what kind of digital file of a song do you need to break anything, it out into stems? Anything. It doesn't matter. And be really? anything, anything. It's, a, you have to pay for this, you know, I mean, okay. or if it's over 10 minutes, you have to pay, but, uh, it's just, um, it, it was, the audio was fucked up. Like there was just like this machine noise through it. It was unfucking listenable. And even when it s split the noise out, it was still unlistenable. I had to actually like edit some of the noise back in. Otherwise you couldn't hear the voices. Like anyway, so shout out to lalal.ai for saving uh, KICAS 735. I want to check that out now. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I want to separate out some bass lines. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it can do it. Uh, I've done it. I'll try it. it. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, just JMS493 saying, hearing GPT get intertwined in the saga is the best thing ever. He can't stop smiling and laughing. Well, hopefully the, the angry lady on the phone was enough to keep you going for another week. And, and I'm excited to hear about how more many weeks plagues. do you have left? This yeah, is it. If it's winding the, um, the, um, the other owner, that, you know, is a husband and wife. Yeah. Oh, besides you, I thought you were. No, saying I'm not. A, I'm not an owner. Um, she's coming back on Sunday, so I'm off the hook real soon. But I'm sure I'll be helping out and eating those Oreos. Do you ever get Chinese food? Where? I've had it before. From yeah, the, I've had from it. the from the mother-in-law. <laughs> She never like she was. It was never like thank you for all your hard work. Here's a, here's some, you know, fancy Chinese food. No, I don't. I mean, no. I'm not saying you asked for it. I'm just saying it's not unusual for someone to be like thank you so much for your work. This is what we do. I don't know Please if that's what they do. It. Wait, are what you is insinuating that she's she cooks Chinese food for a living? That's what oh, she wait, said last week. In law, the in law was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he said that's what she does. I'm not like. I, yeah. I just wanted to make sure you I not read racist. the sign about yeah, no, yeah, it doesn't I, matter. I, I, it was not me being racist. It was me remembering Cheapy's experience I was with the mother. Sure the, the listeners also remembered that experience. Yeah. I was being, no, uh, you know, because it's, it's, it's not, let's say that's not an unusual thing. And I'm not saying that he would have asked for it. Uh, right. It's okay. Like, what am I going to do with like cold Chinese food really? I don't know. <laughs> Bring it home, mm. reheat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can just go to the restaurant and get them I, the hot I, one. I know you can. That wasn't the point. The point yes, is, I wouldn't I be surprised looking. if they. I I, yes. I could see the awkward situation of them handing you a cold thing of Chinese food and you pretending that you have to like enjoy it, and right. that would make for I'll let good you know. Podcasting. I'll let you know if they they put me in an awkward situation. Yes, that's really where I'm going. Thank More you. awkward situations. I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm trying to inspire more awkward situations for our show. Thank you. You know, that's about it. That's all I care about. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 